Hey guys, back here with another video. This time I'm going to talk about photography in the snow or photographing snow or photographing in the snow. And there are a couple things you got to consider. In terms of uh, exposure tips, you can either bracket to avoid the gray snow or set the, the exposure compensation to plus one. Just because the light meter sometimes sees white and wants to dial it down to a gray, so that's one way of doing it. You can, of course, also correct it on post if you're shooting in RAW. But if you want to try to get it right in the camera, and if you're shooting JPEG, this, that's probably the way you want to go. Also select a fast enough shutter speed to capture the falling snowflakes. Because it's moving, if you use like a slower shutter speed, it'll just smear it or blur it. But if you want those crystal clear, tack sharp snowflakes, usually you select a shutter speed about a 1 500th and up. I've had to select a 1 1000 sometimes just because it's falling so fast, especially if it's windy out. Also, the uh, use wider apertures to isolate individual snowflakes when the snow is falling heavily. Just because if you have too much great uh, depth of field, you get a lot of snow in, but it may look very busy. But if you want to just isolate a few of them, use a wider aperture and maybe also use a telephoto focal length lens to compress the perspective to get more snowflakes if snowing if the snow is falling lightly. And combining that with a larger aperture, you should get some nice snowflakes. You can use a smaller aperture at the telephoto that'll compress the perspective and that way it'll you get a lot of snowflakes it'll look very uh it looks very like uh pixelated it's interesting but it's not it's not a bad effect also kind of uh to add interest use the in, include colorful subjects in the frame to offset the bleakness of winter so if it's generally winter scenes are pretty monochromatic it's very white and grayish but if you like have a splash of color for instance here i have i just happen to be shooting the street during snowfall and I see the, a couple of people walking by with the bright yellow and blue jackets, and that really pops out of the scene. All right, now I want to talk about gear protection tips, so how to protect your camera gear. Sure, I know if you have a weather-sealed camera, you think you're all set. Yes and no. Yes in the sense that, uh, you know, occasional snowflake here and there is fine, but if it starts to pool and melt, it could compromise some of the seal, seals on there. A lot of them aren't fully weather sealed don't don't let them fool you i mean I'll, it's nothing more than like rubberized foam or and so, sometimes the water can pool inside where the dials and hinges are so just to be on a safe side uh, you probably want to cover your camera or use a, an umbrella umbrella is pretty cool it's a cheap way to do it and it keeps you dry you know from the snow but if you want to cover your camera i've, I've heard of people saying you know you could use a shower cap or buy some of those cheap plastic uh, sleeves but I figure if you want to take it a step further buy one of these uh, dedicated weather covers or shields I like the ones made by Aquatech and this here I'm showing you is an older version it's the Aquatech uh, sports shield but they have a newer version they're a little bit spendy but they are a breathable fabric uh, basically like you know if you liken it to like a North Face jacket or something that has like Cortex or something like that they're pretty nice. Uh, also, use a lens hood to keep snow off the lens, and that that right there, along with uh, maybe like a clear filter, I usually put like a UV filter over my lens. That way, it'll if I get snow on there, it's easier to wipe off, and the lens hood definitely keeps the snow and even rain off of it. Also, bring like a lint-free lens cloth to keep the lens clean and wipe the camera before you put it back in your bag. And that's the other thing. So when you're in the cold weather, when you're when you're all done, wipe all the snow off of it as much as you can. If you or if you use a cover, you'll get most of it off anyway. But you may get a little bit in the lens hood. And then uh, put it in a Ziploc bag if you can. And then pu pu push all the air out of it, and then seal it up, and then put it in your bag, backpack. And then when you're going inside, leave your camera inside your backpack or your bag in sealed in that Ziploc bag. For at least half hour to an hour let it come to room temperature that way any condensation that'll form will form on the outside of the bag either the camera bag or the ziploc bag itself rather than having it condense on the camera body or have condensation issues inside the camera which could corrode electronics and that goes for fully weather sealed bodies too so keep that in mind the other option out or other tip I would suggest is use a fully charged battery before going out and keep a spare one in your inside pocket since cold temps can deplete batteries at a faster rate than warmer weather. I haven't had too much issues with that 
because I don't really shoot too, you know, if you could shoot in sub-zero temperatures, that would definitely be an issue. But if you're going to shoot, you know, around the freezing point, it shouldn't be too bad unless you're out there for hours on end. And also for yourself, dress in layers to stay warm and dry. I usually like to wear like thin layered gloves worn beneath the large outer ones to give maximum warmth and dexterity when having to remove the outer one for minute camera control manipulation. And trust me, that actually comes in handy. Uh, and just wear like a, for clothing, wear like a, like a synthetic base layer. If you get like silk or what have you, or polypropylene, and then have like a mid layer, maybe fleece or wool, and then have an outer layer which would be like a, uh, like a breathable fabric, like a, a rain shell, Gore-Tex or what have you. Also, the pants as well, not only just the jacket, but the pants, that way you'll be well insulated. And maybe wear like two pairs of socks, wear like a thin uh, sock liner, like a thin material, Cool Max, what have you, and then just put like a wool sock over that and wear your boots or hiking boots and you should be all set. All right, guys, that was just a quick... Uh, Tips and tricks on shooting in inclement weather and capturing snowfall or shooting in the snow in the wintertime. All right, thanks, guys, and see you next time. Bye.